Hello, you are welcome. In this video tutorial, I will explain the project exam seat allotment system. So we need to write a program to allocate the seat for each student to write the examination. So here the rule is, so in this, this particular student has to come from the particular semester or a different one particular course. The next student should come from the different semester or different course. They should not the same semester or same course. The again, the next student, again, she shouldn't be the same course or same semester. They should be from the different semesters or different courses. So in a room, so let's say there is a seats. Sorry. Okay. I'll write around six here. So this is the second row. Right. So this is a seat number one. This is two. This is three. This is four. So this is five and this is six and it continues. Okay. So now, so a student will be allocated for this particular seat from the particular semester. Let's say first semester. Then here it should not be second uh, first semester student. He must be from the different semester. Let's say he may be from the fifth semester. The next one again it should not come the same semester. So therefore let's three third semester. So now first semester one student and the first semester second student will go to the this seat. Again fifth semester second seat will go to this one. Third semester second seat will go to this one. Likewise. So we need to write a program to allocate a student to the particular seat. This project can be implemented by using any of one of these languages. We can write it in vb.net, we can write in csharp.net, we can write in Java, we can write in Android. With these three, we can make it as a desktop application. By using Android, we can make an Android app. This project is very useful for the student who are doing any of these courses. This video help you to gain language skills. So here we talk about vb.net. So we will explain some basic part of the code. So therefore you know like what is vb.net and how it works, all these things. Domain skills, domain basically talk about the what this project is, how this project works, what are the requirements, how do we start this, uh, what is the process, what are the reports we need to generate. So these all basically talk about the domain. So by completing this project, you will gain some knowledge, you will gain some experience that is a domain experience. So language skill, language is to like how to write this project. So in order to write the project, you should know the depth of the language. Therefore, you also learn the language skills. By completing this project, you also get a work experience. So work experience is not necessary that to go to company there, you have to work to gain the experience. You can sit at home and still you can get the experience. By completing this project, you, you gain one project, project experience that definitely will count for your job. So a future in the future, if you try for a job, that time you could be able to explain them. So you have done this project. Therefore, so understand the whole concept and try to write the project by yourself. Therefore, you get a language skills, domain skills and work experience. Project forms. Let us explain you the what are the forms you are using in this particular project. So they are in alphabetical order. Uh, but when you are using, it maybe comes in the different sequence. Here is the alphabetical order list. Block details. So block means so which block? The rooms belongs to block. Therefore, this is a block. College detail, uh, which college it is? That is the details. Course detail, what are the courses student will check up in that particular college? That is in the course detail. Exam timetable form. So here we can generate the timetable. Otherwise, you can enter the timetable data here in the timetable form. Exam report actually. So this is a timetable report. Flash screen. Uh, basically flash screen to show what project it is. So we talking about the exam seat allocate system. So that one we want to show on screen. That is a flash screen. Login form to login. MDA form to show the menu and via menu we can navigate between one form to the next form. Module to declare the global variable procedure and functions. Room detail. So individual room details in the college. Seat alert form. Here we automatically allocate the seat. Uh, this is the allotment report, seat allotment. So what are the seat allotment is done? So we can able to see that one. Student detail, here you can enter the student details, which are the students are take up the courses. That details we can enter in the student details form. Student list, so this is the report form. 
and subject details what are the subjects are available in the college that we need to write in the subject details now let us look at the database tables what are the tables we are using in this project so here uh, we are using around nine tables one is allotment tab block details tab college tab course tab exam tab room details tab student tab subject tab and users tab so these are the tables to store the data so what are the data we enter the it will come to the corresponding table so here is the mdf form so this the this one mdf form so these are the tables and these are the forms so we just cut and paste it on the screen actually so to not to make easy to easily you can able to understand so here is the master entries in the master entries so we have uh, college details we have course details we have a room details then subject details so when i say college details it go to the college table so here is a college table the data which is entered in the form in this college detail form will go to the college table course detail so again what are the data you enter here will go to the course table so here is the course table so room details will go to the room details table so here is the room details subject detail will go to the subject table so here is the subject table likewise so when you enter the data the data should go to the corresponding table and here is a menu so via menu we can able to navigate between one form to the next form for more details please log into our website iblix.com so in case you would like to buy this project please contact us i'll show the demo now if you not yet subscribed to our channel please uh, subscribe to our channel therefore we can provide you more videos so you can see that uh, this is a vb.net we are using visual studio 2019 so visual studio so we are using community edition so visual studio community 2019 it's a free edition you can always download from the microsoft website and you can install that one and as we discussed already you can see that this is the project title and these are the forms and the other side we have a server explorer here is a server explorer here is the data connections and here is the exam see data there is a database so if you expand this then you can able to see the tables so you can see that you can what are the tables we already discussed all the tables are available over here right so now you can see flash screen so here is a flash screen and we have one picture here you can always replace this picture with a different picture or you plan like what you want to show in the first screen then is the login form so here is a login form when i click okay button so here is a code to login so in order to login we are supposed to search in the users table what are the user id and password you should go to users table there we will check whether this particular user id password is present if it is present means d1 dot as rows then if it is present so it's mean that the user id password is correct then we'll show the mdf form else we have show the else part that is user id password is not correct fine let us run the project fine so this is a welcome screen as i told already we can design it different way we just put a simple picture over here so that is there for 5 seconds then automatically it will move off then well login form will come so in the login form you need to enter user id and the password admin admin click okay right so if is everything is correct it will take to the mdf form here is mdf form here is a college details which college we are doing this process the college details has to be entered over here the next block details so a block b block or what are the names so called in the college so that you need to write b block so this is b block section save right next one uh, is room details individual room details so here you can click new then you can select the which block it is this is b block so what is the room number it's 301 what is the room capacity this is totally 50 students and then you can save it up then next comes to the course detail what are the courses are there in the college that we need to click you have to click new button enter the detail and then you have to save so here we have only one mca but still you can enter bca bcom mcom what are the courses all the courses we can able to enter it here next is the subject details what are the subjects so that 
you have to write down here. So this is MCA. So one is network is already entered. Right. So here we'll write one more uh, C language. Uh, this detail about C language. The, I'll just write a C language. Right. Then uh, I'll write one more uh, data structures. Fine. So save this one. So you can enter all the subjects uh, in a subject details. Next one is a student details. In a student details, so we need to enter all the student details. 3002, uh, I'll just write one more, 3003. So this is the name, so some Naveen. Uh, then what are the course actually? So this is MCA, let's say third semester, save. Likewise, we need to enter all the student details via this form. Next is the exam timetable. So this particular day, what are the exams will happen so that we need to write the semester, what paper it is, data structures, save. Like that you need to allocate the subject for the particular day and particular this day, what exam will be taken place. And next is a seat allotment. So here is a seat allotment structure for the exam date. So we need to select the row one, uh, first row MCA student, first semester student has to come and their corresponding subject is uh, let's say network analysis. And second row again MCA because I don't have any other course here. I'll select third semester and then here data structures. So if from the different course, then you can choose the different course here. MCA, I'll take fifth semester here. And here I'll take C language. So click generate. Allotment is completed. Please proceed. So therefore it automatically checked the number of students and allocated the seats. Here is a report, seat allotment report. So if I click uh, display, you can see that the first row, there is a first semester student, this is a second semester student, and this is the fifth semester student. Again, uh, first semester, third semester, fifth semester. So likewise, for each row, it automatically allocates the numbers. And also you can be able to see the student list of the particular semester. So I can go there, I can check who are the students in the particular semester. Exam timetable. So here you can see the timetable uh, for semester. What are the exams on which date like, uh, happens? That is there here. So these are things which are covered in this particular project. So therefore we need to write the complete coding for this project. Right. So one I'll show sheet allotment here. So what is the code we write here? Uh, generate. So here we'll check whether you whatever you selected in the Kuma box 1, Kuma box uh, 5 and uh, Kuma box 8 all are same or all are different. If they are same then you give the message same semester will not be allowed. So you can't put the same semester student in the uh, next column. So therefore they should be different from each other. Next thing is if the checkbox 1 is checked then we select the student of the particular course particular semester. Then we transfer to the NRA. Same if a checkbox 2 is selected, we select the corresponding subject and the corresponding course and we transfer to the uh, one more array called the S2 array. Again, if checkbox 3 is selected, we select the students and then we will transfer to the S3 array. Then what we do is, we, try, we check the rooms, what are the rooms are available that we put to the room array. So therefore we will take the room array. Then we start the allotment. So then you can start the allotment. So here is the procedure three. So in order to alert first whatever the data is there that we delete for the particular date. That means if you regenerate the old data should go. Then the new data has to come. And we'll check the number of students here. Then we check the value of room number. Then we are allocating one by one. So then you go to the next step and still how many students are there? So for every student we allocate the seats. So this is the logic here and uh, you need to write uh, this complete project so therefore it will help you for your curriculum to complete the project. So hope this video is helpful for you and if you found this useful please subscribe to our channel and share with your friends. So thank you for watching.